What is up my clan? Welcome back to yet another vlog. I hope you had a fantastic week. We sure did and we're going to share it with you guys right here, right now. But first, a quick round of shout outs to our longest channel members on the channel. It's a new month which means we start over but at the longest and oldest channel members. So quick shout out to Nick Elliott, Mike Scott 8, Lee Rag. Tommy Boone, Atten TX6203, Laura Morris, and my good friend Andy. Thank you guys so much for being channel members for 20 months. That's almost two years. Come on, a few more months, and it'll be all have that two-year badge next to your name in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We really do appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like a monthly shout out just like that, click the join button or the link in the description down below to check out uh, all the cool features you get for being a channel member. Uh, and without further ado, enjoy this vlog. Good morning, guys. Welcome to Monday. Start of a new vlog. Start of a new school week. Yeah, Bryce is so excited. No, we uh, he he enjoyed our walk on Friday. I don't think we vlogged. I don't remember if we vlogged. I don't think we vlogged, but uh, we went for a long walk, an hour walk last Friday up the mountain because the weather was so nice. And we got rain last night, so the weather's actually nice right now. It's in like the what I think it was mid 70s, like 75, 76 right now. Again, in the direct sunlight, it's a little toasty, but in the shade, it's like perfect. So good. But he was like, yeah, wake me up again, Dad. Let's go for another walk. I said, all right, let's do that. He needs his physical activity. PE is only like, what, once every four weeks? Once every three weeks? Yeah, I don't know how many, like, how much different specials we have because, like, I have the same uh, specials for three days a week. Right. And I had PE three weeks ago. Right. So I don't know if it's, like, three specials and then I have it again this week. Gotcha. Without PE every week, he's not really getting any physical activity. You know, super hot outside to go outside and just do something. I know bad, no club basketball season. I don't even know what's going on with club basketball. Yeah. His, the coach that was, the coach that he started to play with, uh, left school, left the, left the school and went to a different school. So now, at the moment, there's no club basketball. So kind of on the fence about what to do without that. But it's Monday, y'all. Go get some. All right, we came back from our walk. Bryce went upstairs, showered, and he's obviously in school now with Sierra. Uh, I showered, came back downstairs, and decided to take the day off from streaming. Uh, it's the end of the month. Got some things to catch up on, some things I've been talking about for the last like two or three weeks. Getting done, just never making the time to do it. And also, it's my mom's birthday. So later today, um, we have to drop Tiffany's car off to uh, get her windshield replaced. You know, she got that fancy car with all the sensors and everything. We can't just like have them come out to our house and replace it. We actually have to take it to a shop and then have them do it in there because of the calibrate sensors and all that stuff. But, but anyway, um, so while we drop her car off, then we're gonna go and uh, hopefully visit my mom. Um, I haven't seen her since February, so I'm dying to see her uh, and it's her birthday. So it kind of just all worked out. End of the month, no stream, get the car fixed, see my mom. So I'm got myself in the corner here, my laptop, my notes, my G Fuel, tips is maybe this awesome quinoa bowl some eggs, salsa, avocado, grilled onions, watching some streams, getting some ideas, taking some more notes, email, emotes, work day. Here we go. Doorbell just rang, answered it, and we got our camera back from Best Buy. So I'm gonna take the card out of this real quick, throw it in here, and test the audio. There we go. So this is the old, old camera that I used to use a long time ago. It's our backup now. And this is the new one. So I'm recording, I'm recording, I'm recording, and now I'm gonna listen back to the audio. Well, there you go, guys. I don't know if you heard the difference, but the microphone definitely is not 100% fixed. Um, a lot better than it was when it first got damaged, but not really back to specs. So I have to contact uh, Best Buy, and I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they can repair it. It's just, it's just not a camera that's repairable. Like the microphones, those little holes. How do you repair that? I think it's just it is what it is. So new camera. Well, you guys, uh, it's a success. We uh, surprised my mom big time. Uh, sorry, I didn't vlog anything. Hands were full and it was kind of a, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if she was gonna be happy, well, I know she was gonna be happy to see us, but I wasn't sure how she was gonna react because um, my mom has a respiratory, uh, has respiratory issues and um, you know she's never stopped working, thankfully. So she's just been consistently worried about having people over or going anywhere outside of just work. That's why we haven't seen her since February. It's been that long. But I've been missing her tremendously, and um, I've been telling Tiffany week after week, I'm gonna go see my mom, I'm gonna go see my mom. It's just really hard to squeeze that in there. Just her schedule and my schedule being off a little bit. And, and anyway, long story short, 
She was thoroughly surprised, very happy to see us. We got her some flowers uh, from Costco. We just chit-chatted for you know a couple hours and then we ordered some takeout and had takeout delivered via Uber Eats. And uh, it was a good time, it was a good night. So I'm glad that we decided to do that on her birthday. I will admit, today did not go as, as I had thought or had planned. I had a long list of things I wanted to get done and I think I only crossed off three of them out of like 10. But they were big ones. Uh, I went through all three of my inboxes, answered and replied to every email that, that was in my inbox uh, and either archived, deleted, or replied to. Um, I got my tier three emotes up for my tier three subs over on Twitch. I didn't bomb around too many streams. I was, I was hoping I'd have time to balance around streams, but then I realized that when I'm doing like work work, I can't be distracted by streams and, and be, you know, doing research and um, networking. So I had a couple of streams up in the background I was listening to, but they started getting distracting, so I had to turn them off when I just went to music. I did enjoy my day off. I didn't think I was gonna, I didn't think I was going to. I missed chat. I missed talking to chat, especially since I had a rough night last night. Didn't get a lot of sleep to, uh, last night, so I was not my normal self. I definitely could have used chat to talk to, but uh, this makes tomorrow that much more exciting and important. So look forward to tomorrow's stream. Hey guys, real quick, on the next segment of the vlog you're about to watch, I realized last night when I was editing that I kept saying the company's name wrong. Uh, it is the BK Plant Fam, as in family. I kept saying farm, I don't know why. I saw the FAM and said farm, but it's BK Plant Fam. You're about to watch the segment here where I got some amazing plants from Brooklyn, New York, um, a local business there, black owned business. A buddy of mine's mom uh, runs it and I wanted to support them and give them a shout out in the vlog. But I said the name wrong, so I wanted to make sure you guys saw it, heard it from me first before you watch the next segment. It's the BK Plant Fam. Link in the description below. Check them out. Awesome stuff. I don't remember if I said anything to you guys last week or not, but I uh, ordered some plants online. Uh, a buddy of mine from the Destiny slash streaming community, uh, his mom has a plant farm in Brooklyn, New York. It's called uh, BK Plant Farm. Uh, I'll have a link in the description down below. Right now they're selling plants on Etsy, but uh, eventually we'll have a you know full-blown website and all that that shindig. But uh, they're just kind of you know doing their thing over in Brooklyn. And he tweeted it out, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna support. It's uh, you know it's it's a buddy of mine. It's a black-owned business. More than happy to to support. I got three tropicals here. I'm gonna break them open and show you guys what I got. So I got three plants. They got shipped to me like this. So they wrapped them up nice and neat. Oh, this is cool. Okay, so check this out. So this is one of the plants right here. It's actually really cool how it's how it's like in a little baggie with soil. It says, hi, my name is Wave. I'm a philodendron moonlight. Let's work together to keep me beautiful. This guide is for informational purposes. For best results, please research your plants care thoroughly. And then they're at their uh, Instagram. So it's a little care guide in here. Very cool. Very beautiful plant. I picked three different tropics. I uh, love, the, love the storage here. They, they've got like little orbies in the bottom there to keep the moisture in there. So. Very, very cute. I love it. This is uh, Lance. This is a Calathea lensifolia, also known as a rattlesnake plant. This was the first one I picked because I just thought it looked dope. It's got like wavy leaves, multicolored. It's purple on the one side, green on the other with the stripes. I love the way this one looks. So that was, a, that was, like a, that was the first one I added to my cart. A free gift from the BK Plant Farm. Thank you for your purchase. Oh, cool. They gave me like a little bonus one. Just a tiny little... It's like my like the ones I got in the water over there. You throw that in the water and it sprouts roots. So they gave me like a little bonus one. Another colorful one, yeah. Same thing. Purple on the back side. It's got like green and pink leaves. Look at that. How cool is that? Just unique, you know, plants that you just don't see anywhere. This is, uh, my name is Orlando. I love that they named the plants. <laughs> the plants got names already. So there you go. There's my three plants that I got there from, uh, from the BK Plant Farm out of Brooklyn, New York. Check them out. Just back from shopping. She got quite the haul here. Got another money tree, braided money tree with a pot for only 10 bucks, it's a good deal. Got this fall succulent. She got a new pot, which is good because I need it for my three new plants. She bought a little rosemary and a fall pot for that. And a bunch of little odds and ends. Some fall, everything's fall now, just like that. And she's off. First day of tryouts, sophomore year of volleyball. Today's more of like the agility. Alright, good luck. Have fun. See you in an hour. And here they are, all planted in their pots. Surprisingly, this is actually my favorite. 
this just looks maybe because these ones need like more time to kind of get back to normal like they're kind of one lopsided but still the colors the colors are amazing those are the ones that tiffany picked out so these will stay in the living room or in our living spaces because it's our colors this is another one of the pots for my room so that'll go in my room even though these actually like the hotter weather these like like warmer and this is more like keep me at 75 my room gets a little hot so hopefully it does okay but yeah there they are looking fly and now we're in the kitchen making dinner it's asian night got chili sauce we got rice vinegar we got honey we got ginger and garlic and we got some pork we got our pork in our sauce reduction sauteed vegetables but put the sauce on that it's gonna be a saucy mess and then we got rice in the microwave yeah well, there's his final dish there right at a time he's uh back on the night stream eating while he's working <laughs> but yeah uh war zone so doing a little morning walk thursday morning bryce did the first half with me we walked by the house and so I dropped him off, grabbed my AirPods, and I'm doing another leg just because we got up early enough. I haven't burned enough calories. Listening to podcasts and just enjoying the weather, man. The temperatures are, st are slowly getting cooler each day. The mornings are nicer and nicer, so I dig it. Can't wait for it to be just a little bit cooler. We can go on longer walks on the weekends down to Main Street. Farmer's Market comes back, I think, in October. So looking forward to that, too. How uh, was volleyball last night? Fun. Fun. It wasn't volleyball though, we just did the agility day. Um, so I had like, you do your vertical, um, the sprinting one where you're like across the gym with uh, four cones, it was like suicides and how fast you can do it. Jump roping and um, how far you can throw a medicine ball with two hands. So just, yeah, agility, kind of testing to see, you know, how high you can jump, how fast you can run, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Makes sense, what's today? Just volleyball. Back to like regular, yeah. normal. So today and tomorrow is just normal tryouts? Yeah, but they said they can make cuts today and then tomorrow they won't be much. Like they'll do like 30 minutes maybe and then... Teams will be set. Yeah. Gotcha. See so you find out tomorrow. Yeah. Alright. Well, today's stream got cut short. Got a little internet outage going on. Or I should say service outage because TV's down too. Um, did the phone call. was on hold for about 15 minutes. Got to a, a guy. Basically confirmed that we are in an outage. So. Nothing we can do about it. I do have an appointment today from three to five to have them look at my internet because they can finally come inside the house now. First time in, well, for, first time since COVID started really. Um, so I want them to check every outlet, every point of failure because I just consistently have internet problems. And I just want to confirm that it's nothing inside my house. There's not one piece of, of equipment that could be causing this. I want to confirm that it is outside the house. It's just too many people at home zooming and streaming and all that. So. Hopefully the outage gets fixed before that appointment, otherwise I have to reschedule the appointment. In the kitchen, Tis making a Mexican skillet meal here. New recipe, something we never had before. And of course she's doing her own style, adding some stuff to it. Got all kinds of good stuff in there. We're gonna add some tortillas as well. Corn tortillas. And some air fried zucchini, cause why not? Kids are hanging out, chilling. Sierra's getting ready to go to volleyball tryouts. And today's today's are really the tryouts because tomorrow you just yeah today's like the day where they're gonna be watching your volleyball and then like they're really big on like, I feel like every coach like this but our coach specifically are really big on like they care more about your attitude and the way you show your appearance on the court rather than your skill. Absolutely. So they said they've turned down girls that are really good volleyball wise but they had the worst attitude yep. on the court so they went more. and then they've taken girls that maybe don't have as much skill like they didn't have the opportunity to get more like skill in the past. So, but they had like a really like happy attitude, like you can tell they have the heart for the sport. That's Absolutely. Like, that type of thing. So my coaches are big on that. So that's kind of what today is about, like seeing how you are playing together with other girls. Which your attitude's like. Yeah. Makes sense. And no word on boys volleyball, Bryce? For school, no. No for school, no. Here's the mush. It looks fantastic, smells fantastic. There's the zucchini. Thoughts? I haven't tried it. You haven't tried it? It's good. She has a mouth of steel. Yeah, I know. She's like hot stuff all the time. I think that's the reason why she has to have hot food and hot coffee because she can't taste it otherwise. <laughs> yeah. It's Friday, Friday. We made it to the end of the week. Uh, Labor Day weekend coming up and we don't have any plans. So it's weird, odd. Uh, Sierra's got volleyball tryouts today. She finds out what team she made. 
most likely the JVA, JV Gold, whatever that is, the sophomore team. We'll find out more details as far as position, that sort of thing today. So we couldn't make any, we couldn't do anything like today. So we couldn't like go out of town, you know, that kind of thing. And then Monday, she got, she got invited to a, a volleyball tournament. And we don't know yet if she's doing that. So everything's up in the air at the moment. Uh, so it looks like we're not going anywhere this weekend. I know Tiffany was trying to make some plans. She kept like looking things up and you know, it's hard right now because A, with what's going on, a lot of things are closed or restricted. Like we were gonna go to this lake and go do some paddle boarding, but there was no swimming in the lake, which is really weird. But they were like, yeah, no swimming in the lake. You can paddle board, you can kayak, you can do all the things above the water, but you cannot get in the water and swim. It's 95 degrees. It's gonna be 95 degrees up there, so you kind of need to be in the water. So that kind of killed that. Um, so as of right now, I don't think we have any plans. But hey, you know, who knows? We could probably go to uh, me and my papa's house at the very least and swim there. So we'll see. But uh, it's nice. It, every morning's gotten a little nicer. Temperatures are starting to cool down a little bit. It's still hot in the middle of the day. It's still hot. It's still at 100 degrees. But the mornings have been really nice. That's how the fall works here in Arizona. Uh, your mornings and your evenings start getting really nice. The days will still be really hot, but it's almost like a 20 degree swing from day to night. And some days even a 30 degree swing. That's what, that's what messes everybody up here in Arizona. It's like in the mornings, you'll be able to like wear a light hoodie, like San Diego weather. And then in the middle of the day, it's still like hot enough to you go, oh my God, I can't even be outside for more than 10 minutes without sweat my butt off. So it's really weird how, you know, that's, that's Arizona's weather. So anyway. Uh, I'm really enjoying my walks. I'm uh, gonna continue doing these and as the temperatures drop I'll start going a little further a little further start going back towards Main Street and eventually even get a grab a, grab a coffee So looking forward to that. Hope you have hope your uh, hope your Friday was awesome quick update on the new plants To found this nice spot behind the TV and the leaves have all kind of gotten back to normal got a new bud already sprouting right there Looks great That's that's Orlando right there and this is Lance. Now Lance, Lance has got some, some emotional stuff going on here. Like he, one minute he's droopy like this, right? Like he's just kind of like, his leaves are just kind of like half mass. And then like an hour from now, he's like ready to party. Like he's fully erect and just like, let's go. So I don't know, I gotta do some research on this guy. Like, I don't know if it's the temperature or if it's the lighting or what, but like, he looks beautiful. Like when he's like per fully perked, like he is, he's beautiful. Like I said, I love the, the color on that, but kind of put him on the entrance of where we're, uh, or when you walk in the door. And then my man Wave is in here, chilling in the, in the stream room. He's, he's looking great. Got next to my little succulent. And then of course I got the other tropics up here. I'm definitely running out of room. I'm gonna need to, and we're gonna go to Ikea today. I'm gonna be looking for some shelves for my, all my plants. Dinner time and she just got back from volleyball tryouts, final day, and the verdict is? JVA or JV Gold. JVA, JV Gold, which is basically like JV. JV. Especially because our school this year, we have no sophomores on our JVB, so it's just a freshman team. Right. But they'll be playing teams. Traditionally, it's a freshman team, a JV team, and then a varsity team. For some reason, the schools out here now, the freshman team can be a mix of sophomores, sophomores and freshmen, freshmen, which is what it was last year. Yeah. And so this year, it's all freshmen, and uh, you're thinking you're probably going to set? Yeah. Set and hit? Yeah. Yeah. Set. So it looks like volleyball is kicking off. Practices start next week after Labor Day. And this is what we're doing for dinner. Little English muffin pizzas with uh, the ground beef that Tiff made, cheese, bell peppers, jalapenos, and pepperoni. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. Thumbs up if you did. Let me know in the comments down below what you had going on this week, what you got going on over the three-day weekend uh, coming up here uh, in the States. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Vlog on.